The benefits of relying on open intelligence and the four mainstays are really immense. And I want to give some practical examples for my own life. And I know many of you already see big changes, medium-sized changes or small changes, but you see something is not the same. Even if in the midst of total sadness or anger, resentment, pride and arrogance, there's a short moment of relief, that's a great beginning. So congratulate yourself for that rather than thinking, oh, I'm such an idiot, like I just took one short moment instead of hundred and, you know, oh, I will never get it, I'm a sinful, flawed, miserable person who needs to really be fixed, help me, what to do, you know, oh, okay, <laughs> take a short moment or come back here and everything is aligned with reality. And so for my own example, let's, let's take for example something that is really anxiety provoking for most people, like public speaking. Okay. So when, what are the options when anxiety arises when you are scheduled or asked to speak in front of people? You know, in, it can be in your work or sharing your experience or anything like that. What are the options available to us from reified intelligence, meaning a world that is based on data, thinking that we are a limited set of thoughts, emotions, sensations and other experiences? Okay, so what are the options? So, for example, anxiety arises, and then the time is almost 10.30 or the time for your meeting. And you look at everyone and you're like, okay, probably one option is to avoid the situation, which means to pretend that I'm fainting <laughs> <laughs> or, or, or run away or, you know, or do everything internally, you know, like smile like nothing is happening, but internally trying everything using my entire life force, my entire open intelligence force, not to feel this sensation, because otherwise people will see how weak or miserable I am, or I don't know what. Okay, so, you know, like, uh, like really trying hard. Well, okay. And then there is another option to replace. So, one of the things that I used to do in similar situation, and again, public speaking is one great example, but you can change it with anything, you know, anxiety, hopelessness, or whatever you like to do. So, um, to replace it means that from data verification, I think there, that there are some data, some thoughts, emotions, and sensations that are better than others, you know? <coughs> this is the assumption. So, if I feel anxiety and like I'm about to die, I probably need to think happy thoughts. Or I need to think, no, I'm strong and powerful and I have a great voice. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, 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 can, I can really do it. And, you know, like encourage ourselves like that in a way that is very replacing the dynamic energy, but nothing is really happening, you know. This is not true stability, this is not true confidence. It's just a game, like replacing thoughts and emotions doesn't lead anywhere from my own experience. So, replacing, you, oh, I'm powerful, I'm powerful, I'm powerful, yeah. But still the anxiety is there. <laughs> okay, so repla avoiding, replacing, and then indulging. Why the hell do I have anxiety now after five years of speaking in front of people, 10.30, I'm about to die, I wish the talk from Candice will never end because I don't know what to do now, you know, I'm such a loser, my psychology is bad and I should blame everyone else, including myself. Whoa. Okay, this is one way of using the dynamic energy of open intelligence. And that's a misuse, you can say. And what about one option, which is very simple, to allow it to be as it is? Really allow it to be as it is, the dynamic energy. Allow yourself to be exactly as you are, without changing anything, without avoiding, replacing or indulging. What will happen then? Many of us, including myself, thought, okay, if I'm not there to control all of my crazy thoughts, and they are crazy, thoughts, emotions, and sensations, people will need to run away from me, I will need to hide somewhere, because I'll go crazy. Because based on the society we live in, and the really stupid ideas that we were ed educating ourselves with, we thought that we are so flawed and bad that if we will just enjoy <laughs> and allow ourselves to be as it is, we might go crazy and lose all of our relationship, lose all of our prestige, you know, and this doesn't happen. What I found in myself, allowing great anxiety or great desire or great panic attacks and 
to be as they are for short moments, I found, I found myself becoming more and more gentle with, with myself and more and more confident to know what to do and how to act and not to be a victim of my data streams, which means they don't run the show anymore. I can feel whatever I want to feel. That's totally fine. That's the beautiful display of open intelligence. But in terms of my decision making, what I want to say and how I want to be, open intelligence informs everything, body, speech, qualities and activities. And this is a different life, my friends. This is a life that is based on total confidence, regardless of circumstances. I mean, psychology can go crazy forever. I mean, mind didn't normalize itself. Like, it's not after five years of relying on the four mainstays, not like I have, oh, so, so wonderful thoughts that I want to share with everyone, or just beautiful sensations of pink lotus flowers, if there is something like that, or, you know, sunny weather all the time with no sunburn. I, it's nothing like that. It's really, everything is allowed to be as it is, and it can get intense. So that's why we have support. Many courageous people tried to do it by themselves, and they failed. I tried to do it by myself. I thought, I'll be the one. <laughs> you know, I was 20 or something. I'll be the one who will get it. I'll do it by myself, and everybody will know about me. You know? I don't need anyone. Four mainstays, not necessary for someone like me. But after one afflictive state, I said, okay, there is an easy way. <laughs> okay, pride and arrogance are data streams shining forth within open intelligence. I can really relax and start to use support that is available freely everywhere you go all the time. This is amazing offering that was never offered before to humanity. You might say, oh, it's really similar to this, or it's very similar to this kind of teaching from 2,000 years ago. It might be, but this kind of support that is available to anyone who is open enough was never offered before to humanity. With all the means that we have today, internet, telecommunication, video conferences, you can educate yourself in the nature of mind as much as you want to and you can take it all the way. So, you see, this is, a, this is one of the beautiful things in the balance, balance View training. Open intelligence is just our innate capacity, our true intelligence that is aligned with reality, that is not limited by any idea or any belief system or nothing whatsoever, any data. Open intelligence, if it's hard for you to recognize it, stop thinking for a moment. What remains where you stop thinking? Is the world collapsing? Do you lose yourself? Or wh what is happening? There's alertness and cognizance, the power to know. This is open intelligence. And in short moments, which is the best practice ever, short moments of relying on open intelligence rather than relying on our descriptions, on our data, we come to recognize open intelligence day and night. It becomes continuous. Like we learn to live this limited life that we are living. It was done by short moments and lots of uh, education that wasn't aligned with reality. You know, you're bad, flawed, you shouldn't feel this, you're bad, flawed, why, why, why? Let's analyze myself, let's pay someone to analyze me, let's do this, let's meditate, let's... Okay, and what is the result of, of all of that? Do you still have afflictive states? Do they still rule your day, you know? Are you able to be of tremendous benefit to yourself and others? Like, these are questions, these are the results we want to have. So for me, I see a tremendous shift, you know, I took the public speaking example. Totally fine for me to be in front of many people, you know, more than we have here. Feel like I'm going to die and it doesn't affect me. Doesn't mean I don't feel the things, you know, if you'll check my pulse you might be surprised or maybe it's a death, near death experience, I'm not sure. But, <laughs> but there is the total capacity to know, okay, this is inseparable from open intelligence. I didn't need to think, okay, mm, uh, panic attacks, they are inseparable from open intelligence, which is the vast expense of, you know, no, I was going there, doing my thing. Okay, wow, this is so cool. I can be, all my life, I can be in an anxiety and still it won't affect me. This is, this is what I always wanted to do. Live my life not affected, not a victim of my data stream. And this is a decision each, of one, each one of us is encouraged to take. How much bullshit can you contain? Come on. 
Like how many ideas can we contain about re can contain about reality that are incorrect and we know it. Deep down to our core we know it that it's incorrect that we have such amazing capacity each one of us. So now we use it, we utilize it and it's never alone. It's always with the community of the balanced view. And community, you know, for many of you it might sound like a great thing, for others it's like, for me it was like, no way, hippies, I don't want to do that. <laughs> but community is like friends, you know, like friends who are choosing the same powerful choice as you, t powerful choice you made to live as open intelligence. And they recognize it in you, so it's very nice to communicate in this way. Conversations change. The content change, you know, and there's, you know, one of the main thing is that the focus here, like was mentioned before, is not you fixing your data streams, because this will never happen. You'll start to be comfortable with your data streams, this is for sure. The focus is the benefit of all. How can I be of most benefit to all? And this requires lots of courage, especially in a world like today, where people are mainly focused about themselves and their issues. And then you are standing there with all of your magnificent display. Each one of us, we, are, we have magnificent displays, right? Like we, anxiety. I don't know, I like anxiety, for example, but it can be anything. So with each of these, and we are standing there and saying, I'm making a powerful choice. I'm committing to this. I want to see reality as it is. I want to experience it fully and it will take whatever it take. Well, that's, that's courage, you know, that's courage. And to be a coward or to, is to com compromise our life and our energy on living like based on data streams. I mean, this is a choice I cannot make anymore. I feel it's a very sad choice and uh, I don't want to do it. So, for me, the decision is very simple. Relationships, they change forever. You know, like, let's talk, for example, about parents. Before, before with parents, I had many, because I read many books, and I went to many people I here in India and other way, that the reason that I feel negative at times, I need to blame my parents for that. So this, this was one thing I, I, that it's like popular culture and, it, and I think it's still happening, I'm not sure. But the parents are the ones to blame. Maybe they didn't have the right, uh, they didn't do the right thing or didn't say the right thing or I don't know, hormones or what DNA, <laughs> I, I don't know. So uh, is this familiar to anyone, blaming the parents thing? Okay. And after, after participating in the four mainstays, just for a while I saw, whoa, my parents actually gave me everything I need to all of my life. They supported me greatly. They gave me the life I'm living. They did so much to me, but I, I didn't really see it. I was mainly focused on what didn't happen and why I feel lousy man, ma much of the time. But when I saw, you know, with a, a simple shift of relying on open intelligence, there was lots of gratitude, crazy gratitude. Like, wow, this is really cool. And I've <laughs> I have nothing to say anymore. I just a big thank you for giving me this life I'm living and for everything you've done for me. And now, from this disposition, I can say, how can I serve you? And how can I be of benefit to you? Rather than, uh, huh, give it to me, you know, like I'm the needy one. So it, this is an amazing thing, you know, I could waste... I met the training when I was 25. I could see in front of me life of blame and criticism, but it stopped. It completely stopped via the power of short moments, training, trainers and community. So, in a way, when you benefit yourself, everyone around you, they benefit as well. Because you're not so tensed anymore, you're not so consumed by your data streams, you're not so self-focused, maybe. Which kind of life you want to live, really? A life of excitement, of total openness in all situations spontaneous existence, benefit to all, connection with others regardless of where they come from, regardless of what, there is, uh, what their age, color, whether you think they are beautiful or not. Really, w which kind of life you, we want to live? It's so important to ask this question. And the answers are given by our own direct experience. Thinking about open intelligence won't lead you anywhere. 
relying on it, ex testing it in your own experience, tasting it in your own experience, it, in, in your own experience, then the results are just so obvious. Look around you, talk to the people who've been involved for a while. All of us experience the same thing. In the beginning, most of us doubt, this won't work for me. After the initial steps, wow, it's really cool, but maybe not for me, and then you find just, oh wow, this is my life, and then without noticing, short moments become continuous, and you're living the best life ever, without doing anything. Guaranteed. Haha. <laughs> You know, like how you go to malls in different countries and they like sell you things and they like da 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 and you're like, you, you never believe it because there, there's always like a catch or they want your money or, and here it's guaranteed. And we don't want your money. If you want to contribute, you're welcome to. But it's not the main, the main point. The main point is mobilizing benefit, building a society of benefit for all and cutting with all the nonsense because we don't have time anymore. So you see, then you test it in your own experience and then you empower yourself and the results are there to share with everyone. Not being distracted by data streams, that's great, you know. Knowing what to do and how to act in all situations, it's also quite good, don't you think? I like it. And it's my driving force. It drives, it drives my life, you know, wanting to be of benefit. It, I always wanted to. I didn't know how to do it and I didn't have the proper support. Always wanted to. When I met the training and received the proper support and education, all the big questions about life and, and all of that, they are, they are resolved. I know the answer.